up, peoples? Bubba Ace here, and welcome back to Ninja Warrior Roblox. Last time we saw 40 of the new 103 competitors take on the tournament's 17 course, with 5 competitors getting past the first stage. Now today we'll see 30 more competitors take their shot at the course. Let's see how many of today's 30 competitors get past the first stage. Kicking off today's episode is Newcomer Comfortable Relax Man. I'm sure how one can be both comfortable and relaxed. I mean, are those kind of the same thing? Oh, whatever. I don't even know what I was talking about. Anyway, 95 things for him, and he slips out the first kebab. Bad luck to him. Next up is regular Colorful Boy 05. He's making his third appearance. He last competed in Tournament 15 where he fell on the Pillars of Doom, which was the third obstacle of Stage 1 at that time. He made his debut in Tournament 13, where he fell on the first obstacle, but he's well past that, he's just past the Rolling Boulder, ooh! That was a little odd way to dismount it, but whatever works. Anyway, broken cycle now. Yeah, Colorful Boy, he, uh, he's competed in an odd number, uh, odd number of tournaments, and first term he failed an odd number of obstacles. First appearance fell on the first obstacle, second appearance fell on the third. Now he's on to the fifth obstacle, and he fails it! He slips off the jumping, top of the jumping spider. That's unfortunate, so I guess the um, odd streak continues. Sorry, not sorry. Now we're on to next newcomer, Secret Underscore Lion. Wonder what makes this lion so secret? Is it a secret that he's not a lion? That's more of a plot twist than a secret, but whatever. I mean, he's already onto the broken cycle, getting through it nicely. And now he's dismounted it. And he's still got a lot of time left. Gonna regenerate the um, panel flip because it was kind of acting all finicky. But he's past it and onto the jumping spider. Does cause trouble, man? Cause trouble for many competitors this tournament, but it doesn't have trouble for him as he's onto it. Now he's just got to get past. He successfully climbs up, getting across, and now he just got to make his way down, and he's past it. And now he's onto the tire pressure. Press the button to get the stopper to disappear, pushing the tire along nicely. He may want to pick up the pace a bit. It's starting to slow down. He's having a hard time pushing it. He's down to 30 seconds. Alright, he can dismount at this point. I think he's at far enough. Oh, tires are to go back. Does he not know he can jump out at this point? He's wasting a lot of time. Come on, he's got to get moving. He's just going to push the tire all the way to the end of the track. He can do that, but it's going to waste a whole lot of time. He's barely got any enough time to attempt the remaining obstacles. Starting with the war. Whoa! And he's caught onto the stopper. Yeah, that is just embarrassing. Okay, he breaks free. But he's running out of time. The klaxon is sounding. He does not have enough time to take on the remaining obstacles. But can he at least get onto the disc climb? Three, He's onto two, it! Second disc, and he slips off the second. He was gonna time up anyway, but let's take another look at it. On the tire pressure, he started to slow down. He's got to the halfway point. He could have dismounted at that point, but I guess he didn't know that he could jump off this point as long as he didn't touch the track. I guess he was afraid, or he was far enough, but you know, he was running out of time, and by the time he got to the disc climb, his time was practically already out. He caused him the rush, and he ended up bumming his head. And he would have turned out anyway, so it didn't matter. Alright, we're moving on to our next regular. It is Bro Bro 909 who is making his second appearance. He made his debut in the last tournament, where he fell on the Jumping Spider. Let's see how far he'll get this time. Well past the Shish Kebabs. Now for the Rolling Boulder. Can he get past this? No, he cannot. He slips off the front and he's out. Next up is arguably the biggest fan of Ninja Warrior of Roblox. It is newcomer Iquaman88. Good grief, I can't believe I botched it up. Iquaman487. Man, probably the biggest fan of the show, and I botched his name. I am the worst host ever. Anyway, I believe he is all the way from Indonesia. I am deeply apologize if I got that wrong. Oh, we got 
caught by the flow pad, but it didn't knock him off. He managed to hang... Oh, he was about to take on the pamphlets before he attempted while it was all finicky like that. <laughs> that would have been interesting, but likely wouldn't have gone past it, but he regented and beat the pamphlets, and now he's onto the jumping spider. Can he get past this? He's onto it. Now he's just got to climb up. Come on, Nick One. That's it. Oh, but he slips off before he can get it across, and he's out. Ah, oh, bad luck to Iguan, man. Now we're on to regular, a guy named Bro. No relation to Bro Bro 909. Anyway, he's making his third appearance. He's been competing since his debut in Tournament 15. He went on the Pillars of Doom in both his first two appearances. With it no longer in Stage 1. Totally not spoiling it being in Stage 2. Obstacle, wink, wink. Maybe he could beat Stage 1 this time around. Well, he's already on to the panel flips. Past it. Alright, Jumping Spider now. Can he get past this? He's onto it. Climbing up nicely. Getting across nicely. Now can he make the drop? Yes, he does. Now onto an obstacle he hasn't faced before, the tire pressure. He's got to push the button to get the top... Stopper disappear. The stopper's there to hold the tire in place so that it doesn't go rolling off. You know, unlike a certain obstacle that was in the last tournament. Alright, he's still got time. He's already on the track. He can dismount here. And he does so. He's not going to wait till it's all the way down the track. And he's out the one on one. So he's got 30 seconds. He's got. He's still got time to clear. Tarzan involved now. Can he handle this? Or he's onto this climb, but he slips off, making the jump to the second disc, and he's out. Ah, oh, so close, it's so far. But it is another personal best for him as he got to the final obstacle. And now we're on to the next newcomer, Bry Bry. Why did I just say Bryce Bry One? Why can I not get these um, newcomers' names um, pronounced correctly? Probably due to the fact that he is a big fan of Wipeout Roblox. At least around the time uh, this episode was um, filmed. Or this tournament, really. <laughs> anyway, uh... He's a really fast competitor, and he's also a really good competitor on uh, Wipeout Roblox. Let's see if that transitions well to uh, Ninja War Roblox. It went well for a certain newcomer from the last tournament. I can't remember his name, but... Uh, I Ice Speedy Pancakes, that's who it was. Yeah, that's it. Oh my goodness, Bryce went through that tire pressure really quickly. I think that's the fastest I've seen anyone get past the tire pressure this tournament. Well, he's on to the Tarzan ball, and the 30 second mark hasn't even started yet. It does now, but he's already on to the disc climb. Climb up it nicely, and he's not going to get the fastest time, but he's still going to clear with 24 seconds left. Bryce Bry1 has cleared the first stage. A newcomer. Gets past the first stage. Broken cycle, he got caught by the flow pad, but he managed to keep his footing and look how fast it took him to get past the tire pressure. Over seven and a half seconds it took him to get past that obstacle. I don't think anyone's gonna pass the obstacle that fast. And he punches ticket with currently the second fastest time, and Bryce Bry1 is moving on to the second stage. Well done, we look forward to seeing you in the next stage. Now on to the start line is Newcomer the Bitest, or maybe the Bittest. I don't know, but we'll see how he does. 95 seconds for him, and he slips off the first kebab and he's already out. Okay, moving on to our next competitor, it is Veteran the Coffee Addict, who is making his third appearance. He made his debut in Tournament 14, where he fell on the Pillars of Doom. He skipped Tournament 15 and returned to the last tournament, where he cleared Stage 1. He also made it to Stage 3 last time as well. But can he get that there this tournament, or will his uh, first Stage 1 clear be a fluke like many of the other uh, competitors who've been on this course? Who went from clearing Stage 1 to all of a sudden not doing so well in later tournaments. Well. It's looking good so far, he's already onto the Jumping Spider with just a minute left. A uh, bit of a struggle climbing up the Jumping Spider, but he's through it. Successfully across, can he make the drop down? Yes, he does! And he's still got a lot of time left as he takes on the tire pressure. Pushing the tire forward. Very 
nice pace. Gotta push all the way down the track. Well, here, here the track just to the point where he can just, just walk off it. Barely beats the stopper on the warp wall as he got up on in one. Less than 30 seconds, he takes on the Tarzan vault. He got onto it. Yes, he does. He's onto the disc climb. Climbing up. And he's not going to slip off, and the coffee yet for the second term in a row Stay is moving on to the second stage. Well done to this veteran. And now at the start line is one of the rising competitors on this course. Next up is the rising veteran, Look1456. He made his debut in Tournament 8, where he was one of the many victims of the reverse jump hang. He disappeared after that for a while, but then made a sudden return in Tournament 11, where he surprised us all by clearing the first stage. But on the second stage, he didn't know what to do on the unsteady planks, and it cost him. At the time, it would seem to be a fluke, as he would then go out on the Jumping Spider in Tournament 12, and the Rolling Boulder in Tournament 13, putting on his personal worst performance on the course. But then in Tournament 14 would come his biggest surprise ever. He would get back to the second stage and get his revenge on it by clearing it and advancing to the third stage. But it didn't stop there, as he would then clear the third stage and become the first competitor to take on the new final stage. But unfortunately, the new challenge proved to be too much for him too many mental mistakes and the overall difficulty caused him to time up after getting about two-thirds up the tower. And to this day, he remains the only competitor to reach the final stage in this era of the course. He's yet to get back to the second stage, let alone the final stage, as he went out on the speed rocket of stage one on his last appearance in tournament 15. Now he's back, making his seventh appearance on the course. Let's see if he can get back to the second stage. As he is on to the shish kebab jumps, gets through it pretty quickly. Bit of a slow approach from that first to the second kebab, but as long as, you, as long as you know what you're doing, it's okay to take your time. Past the rolling bully now, that was his downfall in tournament 13, but not this time. Broken cycle. And he's past it. Alright, panel flips now. He hasn't faced this yet. And he's not going to fail it. He is onto the Jumping Spider. Now, this is a different version from one he faced the last time he appeared. This was revamped in the last tournament. So he's now got to climb up. He struggled a bit, but he's through it. Getting his way across slowly. Can he make the drop down? Yes, he does. Now he's onto the tire pressure. Still got time left. As long as he can get past this without any trouble. Push it again nicely. You gonna dismount or wait till it gets to the point where you can walk off? Seconds. The ladder. Worked well now, less than 30 seconds. He still has time to clear. And he's at the Wart Wall 1. Yes, he has time to clear. Tarzan Ball now. Get it, you can beat this. Tarzan Ball now. Forward and he undershoots the jump onto the disc climb and he's out. Well, let's take another look at that. Everything was going fine up until the Tarzan fault, but. Well, uh, looking closely at it, it looked like the Paul Vault was starting to tilt forward before he even got onto it, which may have been the reason that he mistimed his jump and undershot the transition onto the disc climb. Get in touch with our judges to see uh, what they have to say about that, if that was legit, or if he's going to get a possible another attempt at the course. Well, that was disappointing. Following that didn't fare any better for the next six competitors. Three of them were newcomers who failed the shish kebabs, broken cycle, and jumping spider respectively. But then the next three competitors would end up worse because the footage of them attempting the course got cut somehow. Even more so, I didn't take note on where any of them failed, except for veteran Xeni Lees, who went from reaching the third stage in the last tournament to failing the rolling boulder in this tournament. But then the one competitor's run that didn't get cut would go on to clear stage one. That would be newcomer Prego is better. While that claim is subjective, 
I guess it's safe to say that Prego is better at attempting the course. I'm not sorry about that bad pun, because that's now 8 clears after 57 runs. And we still have 13 left to go in this episode. Next one to take on the course is regular Aaron Ralph, who is making his 6th appearance on the course. He'd been competing since his debut in Tournament 11, except for Tournament 13. On his first four appearances, he went out on the first half of the course, but in the last tournament, he got to the second to last obstacle, the Pillars of Doom. And he's onto the rolling boulder now. That's been his downfall in the past, but not this time. Broken cycle, new obstacle for him. Can he beat this? Yes, he does. Panel flips now. Not new to him. And especially not new on him failing it. Jumping Spider now. He had no problem with this in the last tournament. Doesn't seem to be causing problems now. Ooh, climbs up pretty quickly. Can he get across? Yes, he does. Now for the drop down. Through that. Tire pressure now. He's still got a lot of time left. And he's got the tire moving very nicely. What's he gonna do? Oh, it's stuck. Come on, Aaron. And he's... Ooh! Almost slips off the edge there. That would have been very disappointing. And... Ooh. Note to self. Work on the stopper of the work wall for the next tournament. Alright, now he's onto the Tarzan vault. He's onto it, and he slips off the front of it! Oh, that's not good. Now what's he gonna do? Oh, he tried to push it forward even though it wouldn't help because you need to uh, successfully jump off at the right time while tilting forward in order to yeah, successfully yeah, transfer yeah, yeah. onto a disc climb and he's just now done. <laughs> well, that was uh, quite a turn of events. But we must move on. We're now onto regular The Good Puppy. He's making his second appearance. He made his debut in the last tournament where he also went out on the Pillars of Doom. I've been bringing up Pillars of Doom a lot lately. I mean, it's not like it's been, um, appeared in the previous three tournaments, I want to say. Yeah, three. And it's not like it took out 19 competitors in the last tournament. I mean, why else would, why would I bring it up otherwise? That's just ridiculous. I say that already as he's onto the Jumping Spider. I mean, why not? He got to the uh, second to last obstacle in the last tournament, so the rest of these obstacles should be cake for him. Well, not necessarily cake, but... Should have no problem this. Ooh! Very quickly down the jumping spider. Now he has his shot of the tire pressure. Can he get past it? Moving at a very good pace. He's stuck a bit. He's stuck again, but now he's got some great spirit on him with each push. And now he's onto the wall. And he can't get up it in one. Down to 30 seconds. He's still got time. And he's up the warp wall in his second attempt. Now for the Tarzan vault. Can he handle this? On to it. Can he make the transition? Yes, he does. He's on the disc climb. And he's up it. And the good puppy is also going to clear stage, stage one. one. Just Claxon sl slightly beat him to it. We didn't hear its sound, but he beats the first stage with just under 10 seconds left. Yeah, the good puppy handled all the obstacles nicely. And he'll be heading on to the second stage for the first time in his career. And we look forward to seeing what he can do there. He came close on the last tournament, but managed to pull it off today. Well done. From one regular to another, this is 2005 Cheeseburger, who we all know nowadays as someone else. I don't want to spoil it for those who don't know. Anyway, this is his third appearance. Big and Beans' debut in Tournament 15. He's now a victim of the Shish Kebab Jumps. I was going to say he was yet another victor in the Pillars of Doom in the last tournament, but can't talk about that now since one, it's not in stage one, and second, he failed the uh, Shish Kebab Jumps. Alright, now on to our next regular. This is, ooh, it's Sports Dude 06, making his second appearance. He made his debut and last appearance all the way back in Tournament 5. He went on the Tarzan ropes last time which was the last obstacle stage 1 at that time. The course has changed a lot in the 11 tournaments he's missed since his debut. 
So we'll see if he can handle the changes. Well, so far, he seems to be handling them without too much trouble. He's already onto the jumping spider. Oh, he's not going to take it sideways like most players have been doing. He does it straight forward. And it works out nicely for him. And he's still got... Look at the time he has left. Barely has 45 seconds. Already halfway through the tire pressure. And he's got a very nice... Nice pace through it. He can dismount here if he wants. But he's going to get it all the way down so we can walk off it. Alright, warped wall. Can't get in one. And he tried to go over the stopper. But he can't do that. It's there to prevent you from doing that. Well, not necessarily to decide going over it, but... Anyway, he's already onto the Tarzan Vault! So he has been able to handle the changes nicely. But can he get through the last obstacle this time? He is onto it, and he's climbing up. Oh, he slips, but he's still onto the disc climb. And Sports Dudo 6, after stage missing the last one. 11 oh, tournaments, is back and moving on to the second stage! What a comeback! So we'll be seeing him take on the second stage for the first time in his career after not competing in 11 tournaments. Alright, next up is Ryder Lee Angle, who is making his second appearance. He um, made his debut back in Tournament 15, where I believe he went on the first obstacle. It was either that or the Rolling Boulder, I can't quite remember. I think it was the first obstacle. Well, whatever, he's already passing and on, already onto the Broken Cycle. Woo! <laughs> and the panel fist was spazzing out there. Lucky Rai was there to um, say, Get serious, I must beat you. Maybe not exactly in that tone, but you get what I mean. Alright, through the jumping spire very nicely and quickly. Wow, that was quick! Definitely one of the fastest times I've seen anyone get past the jumping spider. I don't think it was the fastest, but it was one of them. And he's stuck on the tire pressure. He's having a hard time getting it moving forward. Oh, the stopper's starting to respawn on him. But it's not that when he's walked off the tire pressure, he's out. Well, that's the first time someone has failed the tire pressure. He ended up walking out, trying to get it moving, but... Uh, he was struggling, but when he did, he ended up walking off. Moving... I guess he was trying to move kind of side to side to get it moving forward a bit more, because... Kind of stuck on the little um the little track up there, but he ended up walking too far to left and he slipped off. I keep on talking about how Riley Angle failed, unfortunately. It was an unfortunate fail, and he was the first victim of the tire pressure. And while I'm talking about all that, we're on to another newcomer named Totally Not Monokuma, I believe that's how you pronounce it, who is already onto the jumping spider after down just a minute. Bit of a struggle climbing up the jumping spider. Through nicely. And pass the jump expire. Now he'll take on the tire pressure. Let's hope he has better luck with it. He does. Alright, still got time left. Come on, totally. What's he gonna do here? Is he gonna jump off? No, he's gonna push it some more and walk off it. Onto the warp wall. He's still got time. Gets up the warp one wall. So now he has time to clear the rest of the stage. As long as he can pass the Tarzan vault. Forward and he undershoots it. He jumps way too early and he couldn't jump off at the right time. Or he jumped too early and so it caused him to not jump off at the right time. Whatever. Next up is regular Sofing Board. He's making his second appearance. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Uh, like Sports Dude 06, who last appeared in Tournament 5, this uh, regular last appeared back in Tournament 10, where he went out on the first obstacle. He's already well past it, and already on to the panel flips. Does it nicely, and he's past it. Alright, jumping spider now, can he handle this? He's on to it. That was a nice run up to it. A lot of competitors usually take their time when preparing the jump for the jumping spider, but I kind of noticed that this competitor and Sports Dude 06 actually kind of rushed it and managed to stick the landing. Maybe not sit the landing, but managed to successfully get onto the star of the jumping spider. And Sofing is having a little hard time with the tire pressure. But now he's got it going. And he's still got a lot of time left. Oh, come on. We're doing fine. Come on. What are you going to do? He's going to jump off. I guess he kind of realized that he's not going to be able to push any further, so he decided to jump off. Really? 30 seconds. And make it. Can't get up the warp wall in his first attempt. And does so in his second attempt, just barely missing the stopper. Alright, Tarzan Vault. Can he handle this? 
No, he cannot! He jumps off too late! He couldn't get the jump onto the disc climb. Alright, competitor 65. This is an epic Reshiram, a veteran who is making his landmark 10th appearance. He's been competing since his debut in Tournament 7, only missing out on Tournament 15. He competed in his first two appearances under the name Mutant Reshiram 47. He changed to what it currently is in Tournament 9, and clear for his first and currently only time in Tournament 13. We're going to skip ahead onto the Jumping Spire because the run's following the remainder of the Broken Cycle and the panel flips was boring and stupid. And stupid and boring. Stupidly boring. Alright. Takes his time getting off the Jumping Spire. Now he's onto the Tire Pressure. And pushing nicely. And a let... Alright, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna jump off? Nope. He's gonna push it near the end and walk off. Alright, warped wall. Can he get up this in one? Yes, he will! That was a weird little cut. Anyway, he's already onto the Tarzan vault. He's onto it. Who's doing it sideways? And he gets bounced off the wall on the disc climb! Alright, let's take a, no a look at that to see what went wrong. When he got onto the Tarzan fall, he tried to do it sideways. You're allowed to get onto it sideways, but he tried to land onto the disc climb sideways, which is not the way to attempt the transition. The discs are too thin to land on with just one leg, plus you risk bouncing off the wall when attempting it sideways, which is exactly what happened to an epic. And unfortunately because of that, he has unfortunately failed the first stage after coming close yet again. Alright, next up is regular Chris is a cool dude, who is making his sixth appearance. I believe this is the third pet we've seen who hasn't competed in a while. He last appeared in Tournament 13, where he went out on the Bungie Bridge, which is his personal best. The Bungie Bridge is no longer on the course, so we'll see how far it can go this time around. He's onto the rolling boulder. This has his been his downfall from the earlier days. And it comes back to haunt him again. Bad luck. And now we're on to regular Dogs Rock 67, who is also making his second appearance. He made his debut in the last tournament. Hmm, gee, I wonder where he went out last time. Oh, why, of course, the Pillars of Doom. We've seen a lot of competitors in this episode who last went on the Pillars of Doom in previously in the previous tournament. Ah, uh, that's that's mostly a coincidence. Like this run order, that's a coincidence. It's not like I planned this or anything, because I'm not that smart. I'm not smart to think ahead of this sort of stuff or in this run order business. Well, anyway, he is onto the jumping spider. Much like the good puppy, um, the first half of the course hadn't been much trouble for him. It was usually the second to last obstacle that ended up being his downfall. Will Dos Rock 67 pretty much replicate the good puppy? The puppy is basically a dog, so we'll see if this is basically the doggy or the puppy tournament. Or something like that. I don't know. I guess if your name is Dog or Puppy, you'll have a successful stage one run. Well, it's working out for Dogs Rock as he's already onto the Tarzan fall with plenty of time left. He is onto the disc climb, climbing up it nicely, and. Dogs Rock 67 is going to clear the first stage for his first time. He went from failing the Pillars of Doom in the last tournament to clearing stage one this tournament. Dogs Rock 67 will be moving on to the second stage. Well done, you'll be joining your fellow doggy competitor in stage two. That's now 67 competitors that have taken on the course, and we now have 11 clears, but there's still 3 left to go today, so will we see at least one more? Let's head back down to the course and find out. One of the final 3 competitors in this episode is veteran King of Who No One 33, making his 4th appearance. He went out on the rolling boulder in the last tournament. He made his debut in Tournament 13, missed Tournament 14, and returned in Tournament 15, where he cleared for his first and currently only time. He actually managed to get to the third stage in that very same tournament. Let's see if he can do it this time. 
Oh, he's already past the broken cycle now. Well, now he is. Alright, panel flips. Pass that. Jumping spider now. Can he handle this? He's onto it. Climbing up it. Bit of a struggle. Getting across. Alright, can he successfully climb down? No, he can't. He slips off and he's out. And now on the course is the first of our All-Stars who is making a historic run. Next up is All-Star Kyle Ninja 3970 He was one of the first 15 competitors to attempt the very first tournament, and he's also the very first competitor to ever attempt the course. And now with the King and Ninja Warrior of Roblox Reality Pales retired from the course, Kyle Ninja is the only competitor who's competed in every single tournament. He started his career by falling on the final obstacle stage 1, but came back to beat stages 1 and 2 back to back in tournaments 2 and 3, where in the latter tournament, he would go two steps further by not only getting to the final stage, but by achieving total victory, giving him the rank of All-Star and Grand Champion. That would be the first and only time he would get to the final stage but not the last time he'd see success on this course, as he would then go on to beat Stage 1 again in the next two tournaments, and he would become the only All-Star to reach Stage 2 in the fifth tournament, proving that he deserved the All-Star rank. He was looking to become the first competitor in Ninja Warrior Roblox history to defeat Stage 1 for five consecutive tournaments, but the Rolling Boulder in Tournament 6 would ruin his chances of achieving that goal. He would then get back to the second stage and the following tournament, we would also get back to the third stage for the first time since Tournament 3. After slipping on the second obstacle of that third stage, his career would then go downhill very quickly as he would go out on the first half of Stage 1 in 8 of the last 9 tournaments. Despite all of that, he keep coming back, aiming to go all the way once again. With the class of terrain coming to an end, can he finally break the Stage 1 fail curse? Or will the first stage take him out for its landmark 10th time in a row? Time to find out. Kyle Ninja 3970, the Shingo Yamamoto of Ninja Warrior Roblox. He's in every single tournament. He's had his ups and downs. I will see. He can finally, um turn himself around and see success once again. He's passed the rolling boulder. That was his downfall in the last tournament. It was also his downfall in tournament 6. The obstacle that ruined his chance of becoming the first competitor to beat stage 1 for 5 consecutive tournaments. I'm sure he'll never let that down. Or live it down. Alright, Jumping Spider. This was his downfall before. He's onto it. Lines up it quickly. Getting across quickly. He made the drop down. Yes, he does! Skipping ahead to the warp wall. He got past the tire pressure with a good amount of time. Not as fast as Bryce probably won. But Kyle Ninja, he's already onto the second to last obstacle! Tarzan Vault! Can he get onto the disc climb? Yes, he does! He's climbing up it! Can he do it? Yes! Yes! Kyle Ninja 3970! After stage nine tournaments, is finally moving back to the second stage! He is back! And ready to take on the second stage once again! Well done for our All-Star! He is back! And better than ever! Alright, I gotta calm down because we have one runner to go. But before we get to him, it's time to take a look at the Warrior Wipeout. The honor today goes to Aaron Ralph who managed to get onto the Tarzan vault, but then slip off the front of it. He hadn't touched the water yet, so he tried to tilt the pole forward, even though it wouldn't help, but then the stopper respawned on him, preventing the pole from moving forward anymore. Even though he had no chance of clearing stage 1 at that point, he still persisted until he inevitably fell in the water. And now for our final competitor of today, it is Veteran to Cool 22. He's making his landmark 10th appearance. He made his debut in Tournament 7 and competed in every tournament since, only missing out on Tournament 8. He cleared Stage 1 in the past two tournaments, but he's out on the Shishka Bobs! The Cool is out on the first obstacle! What just happened? 
went from clearing the first stage in the past two tournaments to failing the first obstacle stage one this tournament. When he got onto the obstacle, he ended up walking onto the stick that was holding onto the first kebab, and Luffy tried to walk onto the meatball, but he ended up stepping a little too far forward and slipped off the meatball and the entire obstacle. And just like that, Takul 22 is out on the first stage, on the final tournament of the classic Roblox terrain. Well, that's not a good way to end it, but we're done with today's episode. 30 more of the 103 competitors took on the course, and after all the damage that has been done, we did see 7 more competitors reach the button at the finish to punch their ticket to Stage 2. 3 newcomers, 2 regulars, 1 veteran, and 1 all-star. That's now 12 competitors so far who will be taking on the second stage once Stage 1 has come to an end. But we still have 33 competitors left to run Stage 1. And next time we'll see 25 of them attempt the course. More big name competitors will be featured next time, including a longtime competitor who will be temporarily coming out of retirement to compete in the final tournament of the classic Roblox Terrain. Who will it be? You'll have to tune in next time to find out. Until then, go check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified on future uploads. Like and share this video. Follow me on Twitter at BubbaAce37 for occasional updates and other stuff. Special thanks and music used in this episode are in the description. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time, ciao peoples. Noble Chase is near the back. Yeah, he's near the back. Could resist Drigory Manhattan with cheese. I know who's alt it is, but I just think the next man if she's ready because the character is a girl. I mean, he's free to do his intro, he just gotta get to the start line at some point. It's what I do.